Ladies, gentlemen, <laughs> how are you? This is very loud and dramatic. It's like, nyeh, nyeh, nyeh. like dramatic as fuck violins. I feel like I've got a whole bloody orchestra behind me, like, nyeh, nyeh, nyeh. and I can't do anything about it, lads. I'm trying to commentate over a video, and you're just there with you. Thank you. All right, here we are. They're back at it again. Here we are with brilliant shadows. This is recommended to me by one of you lovelies, PP Mac Pedro. If you're out there watching this right now, thank you so much for recommending to me a lesbian. There is a lesbian in this game. At least I think so. <laughs> I feel pretty sure I was burned by Mystic Messenger because apparently she's quite platonic. The the so-called lesbian in there. She's more of a fangirling buddy and I don't want a fangirling buddy I want to be a fan of a girl you know what I mean and I don't want a girl to be a fan of me that's the plan that we're going in right now <laughs> you guys just think I'm really weird anyway okay so we're gonna hit start and there's a witchy sexy I'm going to do this I did do I are going to end up together omelette de fromage they're holding hands it's already gay yeah once our training is done we're going to be paired and we're going to be the best in the world. This is how shipping works. We'll be best friends forever. Oh yeah. Nothing is going to stop us as long as we're together. This music is really, is this music supposed to be there? It feels like oddly not in the mood. It would have been better if there was no music with this, but okay, Prude. Nothing. Nothing. It's a promise. Prude's tiny hand stabbed outwards and Ash closed her own hand around oh. it. All right. Here we go. See what I mean? It was like, lesbians are holding hands, and I wasn't quite sure what to. Anyway, thump. I'm awake. Oh my god, is that us? We have like a sexy husky voice. Let's go. Yeah, I'll bet you are. Yeah. <laughs> why? Why did you sound different today, Prude? Uh, prude? What do you want? That's us, by the way. <laughs> I'm glad I came to check on you. Partied a little too hard after graduation. Why'd your voice get deeper, though? In place of memories, Ash only found a fizzling sensation where the aforementioned evening should have been. Ugh, yes. Ugh, yes. Oh, so I suppose we shouldn't worry about the pairing ritual then? I'm worried about it! Ash was on her feet with a start. Oh, 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 oh! There we go, that's the Ash I know and love. What? I'm supposed to collect any other tardy graduates. That's rude. Thanks, I'll see you there. I'm not tardy, I only ever slept for like See two seconds. Partner. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Um weirdo alert. What the fuck? Why is she strange? She just screamed out of nowhere for no reason. I guess she's excited, but still. Yee! The two girls stifled squeals of excitement. Alright then. The day had finally come, 14 years of training, and they were finally going to become a pair. They would finally be set free upon the world and have a chance to work their magic. You work it, girl! All the plans they had! Ash was dressed and groomed in record time. She took a few bites of the pastry her drunk self had possessed the wisdom to save, but couldn't manage to finish it. The excitement curbed her appetite. Wow, that was a knock and a half. Someone's knuckles are made of yes. wood. Yes. The door swung open and Hector stepped inside. Yeah! Have mercy. I wanted to ensure you were not tardy. Everyone keeps calling me tardy. <laughs> I don't see why you would assume I'd be tardy today of all days. <laughs> if you made a graph of my life of the usage of the word tardy, today is the day that it just shot up loads. <laughs> no, you are correct. I suppose I should have assumed prudence would have gotten you up. Yeah, prudence. Ash flushed at the comment. Well, I just wanted to ensure that you were up and about. I am so up and I, I am so see about. You at the ritual. All right, babes. Ash wanted to throw something after him as he left. Hector was a year or two older than her. Why does he look a clean 500 years older then? He had graduated two years ago, and after the ritual, he had found himself unpaired. He had been so much nicer before that. They had never quite been friends, but they had at least flirted with the notion back then. Oh, we are pouting something fierce. What happened to our nose bridge? This year would be his third chance. Oh no! Oh my goodness. So, okay, so I guess it's well embarrassing if you don't get paired. She was impressed he had been able to survive that amount of humiliation. Ugh, forget him. Today is our day. Alright, we're gonna get paired with our bae. The idea of finally fulfilling her dream of becoming one of the pairs, of joining the orders. What if these are all just terrifying typos and you actually become a pair physically? The fruit. <laughs> 
Oh, that was cute. Why is Prude's laugh so scary compared to hers? Forcing herself to stifle her enthusiasm, if only a little, Ash adopted her serious face. She cloaked herself in an air of dignity and stepped out the door. The walk to the ritual chamber took far less time than she remembered. She must have been unconsciously rushing. Other students had arrived, but the chamber hadn't quite filled. There were many more to come. Ash chose to burn the time by retrieving a book from the pocket in her sleeve and burying her nose within. She's literally got her nose massaging the paper. There's a tap on her shoulder. Is it our bay? It is! Prude was looking at her with a whimsical smile, and behind her the chamber was alive with the bustle of a hundred graduates. Already lost again, I see. <laughs> I mean, yes, yes. Hey. Um, just passing the time. Hey, they look cute ready? together though, huh? Yes, I'm so ready. ready. Yes. The two exchanged knowing smiles. Silence! Okay. The music stopped even. Silence struck like a blacksmith's hammer. You all know why you are here. Oh, these guys are pair. You have completed your training. You are literally a cockatoo. Today is the day where we perform the pairing ritual. In this ritual, the dark magic of necromancy is balanced against the light magic of the paladin. I see. In pairing, we find balance. So that sounds gay. The music's a little loud, but all right. Blinded by the light. Uh huh. It is only in finding balance that we can know true understanding and power. That makes sense. Now form up. You should all know the incantation by now. We will begin immediately. Rah! She looks like a bird. The graduates moved as though on instinct and were in positions in moments. Begin. I am beginning. For a heartbeat, Ash struggled to find the first words of the ritual, flustered by both excitement and anxiety. She knew, however, this wouldn't affect the spell any mage that performed the incantation prior to its completion had a chance to be paired, assuming, of course, that one possessed sufficient power. As the voices rose, so too did the ambient magical energy. Each figure began to emanate their element. Ash saw Prude beaming with light, and she could sense the shadow that poured from her. Oh my god, it's pretty gay! Look at that! That's some shit going on! Yin <laughs> Yang! I see. It began to twist and swirl and twist in on itself, flaring brighter and darker as each voice ascended towards it. Oh, I like it! The things actually move. Then all at once it became solid. A massive Yin Yang hung above them. It's a straight up Yin Yang! <laughs> no shame at all. It spun gently, burning with raw magic of both light and shadow. Ash could not hold back a smile as awe took her. It was finally happening. Oh my god, it's happening. Oh, what, what the fuck? The explosion hit with such force, Ash was on her knees before she could even process that it happened. There was an explosion. What the? Wait, what? She found herself gasping for breath. A moment passed and fear took her. What if she hadn't been paired? The thought struck so hard, Ash could only avert her eyes, daring not to look at the back of her left hand, her primary hand. Looking instead to her distant left, Ash saw Prude staring at the back of her own fist, a smile curling across her face. The fear dissolved. There was no way. Her best and closest friend was going to be paired to her. This would be the first climax of many! <laughs> her eyes fell to her clenched fist and she uncurled her fingers. The back of her hand held a blank bird, its wings outstretched, its feathers curling wildly. It was well beautiful. Prude rushed over to her. Kinda weird we got a spider. Well then. For a moment, Ash could not draw breath. With a gasp, she managed to extend her hand. Her right hand, the one without the bird! Prude placed her hand into Ash's. Look, lady! I don't have a bird! You have a spider! Are you cheating on me with some sort of spider situation? Is that what's what's going on? No. Uncool. Prude's expression melted, contorting from delight to concern. She reached out and snatched Ash's left hand. Shit! Concern hardened to despair and then... Rage. How? You're my best friend! Who could be a better pairing for me than you? Okay, that's weird. Ash couldn't find the words. Where Prude was able to find anger, she could only find sorrow. The two stood there for an eternity. Words were at a loss to convey how they felt. Only silence could portray the emptiness! All. I am terribly excited to meet you. I promise I will be the best necromancer you will ever know. Oh my god, she got paired with the fucking old guy! He looks like a clean 800! I was top of my class, you know. In fact, I've even been teaching this last year. I'll admit, I am lowborn, and I do 
You have a silly last name, but that's no reason to hide from me. Listen, lad. Silence hung awkwardly as Hector was himself. I... I don't suppose that the ritual went awry? In this last question he directed to the heads of the two orders. No. The spell has never failed. Not in the 40 times I've been here for it. Okay. There is no record of it having failed prior to that. Okay. If you did not pair, you would not be marked. Oh lord. What did we pair with? Turning back to the crowd, Hector gave a sheepish smile. I'm really truly sorry if I have disappointed you, but I swear I will spend the rest of my life proving to you that I am a worthy parent. How come you're the only one with a nose bridge? Ash whispered it, the words escaping before she had time to bite her own traitorous this tongue. Isn't right. Go. Yeah. I have to find my pairing as well. I bet there's a paladin out there just as harried. Just as hairy as you. You're still my best friend. Listen, Prude, I don't associate with hairy people. And you are mine. This isn't right. Yeah, girl. I know, now go! Yeah, girl. Another moment of silence fell between the two before Prude let go of Ash's hands and walked up to Hector. What if there's a really hot one? I would enjoy there to be a hot one. He raised an eyebrow and then broke into a wild smi Prudence. wide smile. Oh my god, help us all. Prudence turned her hand around, showing him the spider just below her knuckles. Oh no, I feel for him. He hasn't had like a little buddy for ages. This is so wonderful. I am so happy. <laughs> She's like... Prudence gave him a look. The look spoke more than she could ever convey no, with words. No, I'm sorry. I, I know how much you two wanted to be paired. Please don't tell me she is without. No, Ash was paired. Oh my god, is she jealous? Hector's eyes fell to Ash. That's good. At least you need not suffer the stigma of being unpaired. Oh, Hector. Here, show me your hand. I will help you find your pair. Oh, Hector, you're a nice guy. Ash didn't resist as Hector took her hand and licked it, massaging it all over his nips. Lovely mark. Don't do that, Hector. That's really, really disturbing. A phoenix! That's pretty nice. Does anyone have a phoenix mark? You may have mistaken it for a bird. Phoenix is a bird. It's a type of bird. It's a magical bird. Anyway, there was no response. Only dull chatter as pairs seemed to be forming introductions. Oh, come now. There can only be but one or two of you left. Speak up. No reply came. Hector made a face and lowered his voice. I imagine someone may be in a situation similar to your own. Scared to admit they did not get the partner they wanted. Let me speak with Luciana and Zachariah. All right, let's go. Would you mind coming with me, Prudence? I would mind. It's Prude, and no, I'm not leaving her until she finds her pair. Prudent? No, nah, I'm gonna shorten that to Prude. Prude it is, and I understand. I will be right back. Hector marched away with a little more bounce in his step than Ash appreciated. Prude's eyes followed him as he left. <laughs> this may sound weird, but I actually have a really good feeling about this. The moment he realized I was his pair and he mine, something just clicked. Okay! That makes me feel good! It will be the same for you. I promise. Thanks, lady. Ash swallowed and held back tears. Somehow, when you say it like that, I believe it. Everyone who has paired and met their partner, sit down. <laughs> it's all caps with her. The command was so harsh, Ash almost sat herself down, only processing the actual contents of the command when already almost down to a knee. Catching herself in time to stay standing, Ash gave a look around. She was standing alone. Oh, shit. There were an odd number of students. At least one student being unpaired is to be expected. Uh -huh, you yeah, yourself but... should know that we'd be lucky to have only one. There were five in your class. Huh? There was further hush to see what the hell? What do you mean she has a mark? Yeah! All right, okay, Satan has made an appearance. I would rather not Satan, not today. Satan, can we please- She must have drawn it on herself go. or something. Oh my god, you're so stupid. More whispers, Ash had gone numb. Oh, well, I suppose you would know. Silence seemed to hang for a moment. Veronica Ashmar, come with us, please. Oh, that's our name, huh? Prudence, you too. Okay, why her? Why is she involved? Oh, no. So she, uh, she's whispering comforting things into our ear. The meeting took place in Zachariah's office. It was closest to the chamber. Hector yelled. Zachariah yelled. The two seemed about to come to blows that the words never reached Ash. Prude stayed by her side. Luciana seemed mostly to contemplate, commenting only occasionally. It's because she's high off of her tits and she can't be bothered with this. The numbness spread within her. Shock. It was shock. She knew what shock was. 
Okay, everything became a blur. Somehow she made it back to her room and into her bed. She finally found respite in sleep. Okay. Morning came slow and steady, and for a moment Ash wondered if everything had been a dream. The phoenix on the back of her hand told her it had not. Thank the gods, you're finally up. The gods have been thanked. Their arms are around one another in a moment. You feeling okay? I'm distracted by the voices. I'm actually distracted by them. Um, are you feeling ill? Let's try that. Are you feeling ill? No, or at least I'm not sick. Mm. Good. Did you sleep in your dress robes? Yeah, it was a tough night, all right? Apparently she had. That would explain the sharp pain in the back of her head. Hairpins made poor pillows. Ash scanned her room. They were alone. Where's Hector? Um. He's still on a rampage. He's convinced someone didn't get paired, and they pretend to be paired with the friend they wanted to be paired to. Apparently, he can tell if Mark is a Mark, or just like, a Mark. Alright. Ah, oh, yes. Very eloquently explained. <laughs> right? <laughs> Prude laughed. Oh no, don't don't let me hear it. Oh. <laughs> Good to see you're feeling better. Uh, Here, let me help you with that. Uh, with Prude's assistance, Ash removed the offending hairpin and slipped into a more casual dress. I'm just glad the pin didn't do any permanent damage. <laughs> I doubt my head could have survived much more trauma <laughs> Sorry. than it already did. <laughs> Sorry, it sounds mean. I'm not meaning to be mean. Ash let out a long breath and turned to Prude. <sighs> What was that fight about yesterday? I like heard her the microphone sound her sighing into it. With a head. Yes. You didn't catch that? Should have argued with an arm hmm. instead. You were pretty out of it, but I'm not sure if I should tell you. Prude, now is the time to be telling me the things. Please. Everything is awful as it is. The least you could do is spare me from censorship. Nothing censored, please, okay, Prude. Okay, just. I promise you won't jump to conclusions. I will jump to I them. promise nothing. Fine. Look. Apparently, a while ago, Hector kinda developed a spell that can sorta dissolve a pairing. Oh, buddy. He did what? More than that, uh, he was, uh, I'm really not sure I should be telling you this. Uh, he was trying to develop a method to, uh, Force a pairing. Well then, no. But but it didn't work. He tried it with a teacher whose necromancer died, and again with one of the students who didn't get paired last year. Look, Ash, it doesn't work. Not to mention that apparently broken pairs fix themselves with the pairing ritual. I say we jump to I conclusions. Did a test a while ago, where a number of unpaired and those with willingly broken pairings performed a pairing ritual, and they were all repaired or left unpaired exactly as they were. I'm before. getting really paired, tardied, paired, paired. An awkward silence still hung between them as Ash's mind reeled. Didn't do this to you, I promise. Yeah, I've right. Given it a lot of thought, and I think Heck is on the right trail. There's Heck. someone out there who's lying about their pair. Really? It's just some moss head who's more scared about being paired wrong than we were. Moss head? Someone I am paired to do something so awful. Perhaps they're just really Perhaps. Dumb. I can see you doing well with a pet meat head. Ash couldn't help but laugh. Prude always said that one day she would be her pet meat head. So, how is he so far? Um. What do you mean so far? He's done nothing but to try to deal with your situation. I haven't had a chance to know. Okay, Prude looked away from Ash for a but moment. I think he's a good guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, yesterday? He brought us food from the festival. Way more than we can reasonably eat, and choice myths at that. Mm hmm. I think he feels guilty about what happened. Did I get Do any of this food? Feel guilty, I mean. No. Huh? Okay. I... I know that sounds callous, but wait until you find your partner. You get more and more unattractive by the second lady. I want a better girlfriend. Go, shoot, shoot, shoot! You said something Go away! Food? Nope, that's it. We're done. We've got to find another one. Oh, yeah. Over there. Yeah, alright. Ash's eyes popped as the entire spread of a catering table lay atop her dresser. And shadows. All right, fair enough. Okay, she bought us a bunch of food. All right, that's. Told you, good guy. Actually, no, he bought. 
I'm not impressed right now with this Prudence character. So the two ate, laughed, and Ash tried to enjoy what some dark voice in the back of her mind told her was the last chance she'd have to be with her dearest and closest friend. Listen, babes, don't worry about it. You are really, you're slamming. You are, you've got the whole goth vibe going on and people are, people are into that, right? You know? Prude and Ash must have been talking for hours, though Ash could not recall a single topic when a sound knock sounded at the door. Come in! Hey, it's my room. Okay. Oh god, all the oh no, they're all in here. He's got a bloody lip, what the hell happened? I am sorry, but... No luck. No, I am sorry. It appears all of the pairs this year are legitimate. That's a legit pair. Rampage over here started performing a ritual to break the pairings on everyone in the building to force everyone to repair because he's convinced that someone is still hiding something. Okay. I know I panicked for a moment on the floor, but you are right. The ritual does not fail. Someone is paired to her, and for whatever reason, they are concealing it. We're paired! I stopped him. To a demon. You interrupted the ritual. If Luciana had not come to help you, I would have all easily... Alright, alright! You sell this little ball of rancor, would okay. Alright, en en enough. Hector bore his teeth at Zachary. Oh my god, now they're fighting! What the fuck? This is so. What the hell? Zero to 60! <sighs> ah, wait! Wait, wait a minute! <laughs> we appreciate what you are trying to do, but we have checked every single paladin on the grounds. And in fact, every member of the staff and grounds visitors. Okay. It would not be the first time we had a handmaiden secretly complete training. Sadly, there is no match to Ms. Ashmar's Phoenix. All right, then. Hector stood up again, grimacing. I know more about the pairing ritual than any other necromancer or paladin at this school. I promise, I will find- No. No. Hector gasped, gaped, flabbergasted. I appreciate what you are trying to do, but you wanted to join the army, right? Hector nodded, looking away with narrowed eyes. And prude. You were going to join the Kingsguard and protect your mother, right? Your desires coincide. You should walk that path together. Oh, man. And what about you? That was already decided before your noble gesture, Ash. Huh? <laughs> you will stay alongside Hector and Prudence for now. But... Hector is correct in that he is the most knowledgeable in this matter. I profess his abilities in that regard exceed even my own. However, none of you will be leaving until this is resolved. Great! Veronica stays because we need to figure out where her mark came from. Hector stays because we may need- Yes, okay. I have mixed feelings about this. Why are you upset all of a sudden? You- you- you love this! Don't worry, Ash. We'll figure this out. Okay. Thank you. All of you. Don't thank us yet, child. You may have much more suffering to come. I love that. That's good. A plus. What? No! <gasps> oh, we had a dream about a little plant. Ash started awake with a kick. She was attentive and alert within moments. Mornings were easy for her. She had never known why. Mornings are so hard for me. She rose and donned her gown. She knotted her hair into its familiar bun and looped her ha amulet. Amulet? <laughs> It's an amulet made of ham. It's my amulet! <laughs> Mornings were easy. It was what came next that would be hard. Mm-hmm. Who was that to be so early? Yes? Her door opened and a bedraggled Hector strode in. I believe I have a few more ideas as to how your mark might have come about, but I need to examine it to proceed with my research. Okay. Have, uh, have you been up all night? Yes, but it's hardly the first all-nighter I have pulled. Why does he care so much? I get that he was unpaired for ages, but like we- he- Unless we are really good friends, which it's said that we kind of weren't. There's no- why does he care? We're just a stranger. Food is going to kill you if she finds out you're not sleeping. She always gives me a hard time. Well, yes, but I'm sure she will appreciate the importance of what I am doing. She's still asleep, I believe. I waited until the time you normally wake up to visit you. You know that somehow? You know what time I wake up. I know what time everyone wakes up. That's actually kind of creepy. Well, I am creepy. There is no escaping that fact. 
It does not lessen my abilities nor invalidate my competence. I'm sorry, but being creepy honestly outweighs <laughs> your competence. <laughs> okay, that's weird. You really are going to get along well with Prude. Is he? I hope so. It would certainly be unfortunate for a pair to not get along. Now may I see your mark? Why are you dull? Ash let her smile break through as she offered her hand. When he had been a teacher, Hector had always seemed strict and very much know-it-all. Oh, that's why he's so, like, weird, because he's a teacher type. There was a certain amount of comfort in knowing that such an individual was concerned for her now. Still don't know why he cares so much, but why what? There we go. Why are you so concerned with me? That should be obvious. It's not. Do you know the stigma that comes with failing to be paired? Okay. Most students simply leave the school, abandon the profession. Hmm. Okay, that makes more sense. It is a shame that haunts you. The desperation. <laughs> Two years of being unwanted. You begin to feel that any length is nothing to achieve the recognition you deserve. Man. Hector seemed to suddenly notice what he was saying and snap back to the present. But you. You have it far worse than I did. You don't even have the hope of being paired, because once you have a mark, you cannot be paired again. Believe me. Okay. Oh, way to make me feel better. Sorry. <laughs> but <laughs> you asked me why I was helping you. Right, so it's like she's in such a dire situation, Truth I guess. Is that I don't want anyone to be in the same situation I was, let alone the best friend of my pairing partner. Mm-hmm. Hector smiled. It was an expression that Ash had never seen during the entire year he had been teaching or the year before it. It was genuine, it was warm, it was caring. It was who he had been before the ritual where he had been left alone. Well, thank you. Mm-hmm. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. Did you learn anything? Mm-hmm. Hector let go of her hand and held out a sigh. <sighs> I truly wish I could say yes, but no, I am still quite lost. What the hell are we gonna do? I just can't determine what would cause this. This spell has never failed. There is no precedence. My only thought is that it might have succeeded in an unexpected manner. Okay. For example, you paired with someone who was kidnapped immediately after the ritual. Okay. That seems highly unlikely, but a part of me thinks it's more likely than the spell failing. Is that why you were so concerned when Prude didn't speak up? No, that was me being a tad manic and immediately panicking. Prudence's silence merely provoked a bit of... Do you need to sleep? Maybe something to eat? No. No, not at all. I have... So much work to do. Um... Do you need to... Whoopsie. No. Okay, 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 okay. I want to see something happen now. Well, I suppose a few moments of indulgence could not possibly cost me a breakthrough. Right. He ate like a ravenous fiend. Ash silently wondered exactly how many meals he had skipped. The counter now mostly clear of food. Hector did out a yawn. Down, a long Hector. yawn. Ash patted the bed. Why in light and shadow would I do that? I have so much work to do. I want to talk to you about the incident. Maybe if I tell you more about what happened leading up to it, you might figure something out. Okay, right, so I'm gonna end the episode here. I'm enjoying it, but unless you guys are massively into it, unless you guys support this series, I'll probably just leave it at this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope that you have enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to do some filthy things to that like button, share this video with your friends, share it with your mum, and get it to return my calls, but ah, <laughs> absolutely most importantly, folks. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you soon, my friends. Bye-bye.